Good evening, good evening, good evening. We would like to welcome you on tonight to Freedom City. Tonight, where our pastor is the prophet, Daquan L. Williams. Please go to your Facebook page, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and check out our website, which is www dot freedom their city dot com tonight 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 we are in for a treat you are in for a treat on tonight we are coming to you live from detroit michigan the home of refreshing word ministries under the leadership of none other than bishop james o dukes let me see some hearts and some likes on the screen on tonight let us know that you are here. Let us know that you are worshiping with us on tonight. Now, as we do every weekend, let us recite our welcome and our purpose statement. It's not a place. It's a space free to worship in whatever city you are in. It's not a place. It's a space free to worship in whatever city you are in and let me see in the comments what city you are worshiping worshiping from on tonight let's see let's see let's see i have detroit i have detroit in the house on tonight let's see we have york on the, in the house on tonight let's see these hearts let's see the hearts on tonight we have west bloomfield Now let's get ready. Let's get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for a word from the Lord on tonight. We are going to recite our purpose statement. We exist to spread the spirit of freedom everywhere we go in everything that we do through the power of Jesus Christ. We exists to spread the spirit of freedom everywhere we go and everything we do through the power of Jesus Christ through the power of Jesus Christ through the power of Jesus Christ get ready to hear a word on tonight hold your hands out hold your buckets out everything that you have as our worship leader, none other than Bishop James L. Dukes. Come on, let's give God a thunderous praise. He deserves a praise. We honor him. I said we honor him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord tonight. Hallelujah, for the Lord is good and his mercy endures to all generations. And so tonight we come to welcome Freedom City here at Refreshing Word Ministries here in the heart of Detroit, Michigan. And so tonight we are in for a treat from Pastor Daquan uh, Williams. I've had the pleasure of being at Freedom City on many occasions and God has done nothing short of his word each time we've come together. We are certainly glad for all of those that have assembled here tonight. We have a good quorum of believers in the house. Of course, Refreshing Word is in the house. Come on, Refreshing Word, let me hear you. We are grateful for Freedom City. Freedom City is here with us. Come on, Freedom City. I certainly want to give honor to my wife, Pastor Simone Dukes. I honor her tonight. I am grateful for her 
and all that we've gone through on this last couple of days going to Texas to celebrate our spiritual daughter, Pastor Alethea Jones Dupree, uh, Dupree Jones, I'm sorry, uh, as she has relocated her ministry from Martinsburg, West Virginia, all the way to the wonderful city of Fort Worth, Texas. And so we're grateful for that on tonight. I'm grateful to have some of my colleagues here in the city of Detroit. First, I want to give honor to Pastor Harriet Davis of Straightway Bible Way, play some grace. Come on, let's give us some love. We also have His Grace, the most honorable Bishop James A. Williams II. Spirit of Truth is in the house on tonight. And so I don't know about you, but I came expecting expecting a word from the Lord. I came expecting a move from God. And so tonight we are looking forward to God doing something. But before I get into uh, most of our services tonight, I want you to declare over yourself that something good is, is going to happen today. And it's going to happen to me. And I deserve it. Something good it's going to happen today and it's going to happen to me and I deserve it y'all don't sound like you believe it something good is going to happen today and it's going to happen to me and I deserve it come on get your hands together and let's give God praise cause something good it's going to happen today. And, and yo, excuse me. And it's going to happen to me. And I deserve it. I said, and I deserve it. Somebody touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, you deserve it. 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 This is the year that the canker worms and the caterpillars and the pummel worms are going to have to give back to you all that they took. Y'all not going to help me, but I, I help myself tonight. I don't need much to go in. Oh, God, I bless you. Somebody help me bless him. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves the praise. He deserves the praise. I, I won't mess with y'all tonight. I won't mess with y'all tonight. But if you call glory and summons the glory, the glory got to come. So every time you say glory, you summons glory. And glory has to come. Y'all not gonna help me tonight. Yeah! Call the glory. 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 Call the glory tonight. Call him, call him, call him. And when you call glory, I said when you call glory, glory shows up. I said when you call glory, glory shows up. How Sunday I must say, oh God, we bless you. Listen, y'all, we're going to keep moving. We're going to keep moving. Uh, but I want you to understand tonight that we come to have church. Hallelujah. We come to have church. Oh, God. So tonight, we're going to ask if uh, 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 Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor uh, Harriet Davis, yes. Oh, I... Y'all excuse me just for a second. Will y'all excuse me just for a second? Yo, yo. I told you if you call him, he'll come. He'll come. He'll come. All right, all right. Y'all don't get me in trouble already. Hallelujah. Just, 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 just. 
If you if you summons the glory, if you summons the glory, the glory will come. Ah, yeah. Just look to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, tonight we come to summons the glory. <laughs> and if you don't want the glory to come, don't call him. I said, if you don't want the glory to come, don't call him. We ain't singing those sad songs over here tonight. Oh my! Y'all, y'all, y'all behave yourself over there. Y'all behave yourself. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Well, I, I'm, I'm uh, y'all, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. I, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to make a change. Pastor Davis is going to come after Bishop James Williams. James Williams gonna come and he's gonna give us our prayer. And then we'll get a word after the prayer. And then I'll come back after the word. Somebody shout glory. Glory glory to the name of our God. Hallelujah. We rise giving honor to all to whom honor is due. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, creator of the universe and giver of life we honor you we appreciate you tonight god we come to give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise for you alone are worthy you've been good you've been kind you've been gracious you've been true and we say thank you god we know you for who you are you are the omnipotent god who has all power you are the omniscient god who knows all things You are the omnipresent God who is in all places at all times. You're up over us to overshadow us, up under us to uphold us, around us to protect us, and you are in us, permeating our mortal being with your divine presence. Before yesterday you were, and you will remain when tomorrow is no more, from everlasting to everlasting. You're God, and you're worthy to be praised. God, we thank you today. We thank you for our uprising. We thank you for our downsetting, oh God. We thank you for every step we take, hallelujah, and every breath we make, oh God. We thank you for every good and perfect gift. For we understand that every good and perfect gift comes down from you and that in you there is no variation or shadow of turning. Most of all tonight, we thank you for the precious gift of your son, Jesus, who is our savior. Jesus, oh Jesus, Jesus, we worship you in this place tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being willing to divest yourself of divinity and wrap yourself in humanity. Thank you for being willing, hallelujah, to lay down immortality and pick up mortality. Thank you for leaving the royal palaces of glory to come to the dusty plain called earth so that you could die that we might live. Thank you for healing the sick. Thank you for raising the dead. Thank you for opening the eyes of the blind. Thank you for unstopping deaf ears and loosing stammering tongues. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for your teaching. But most importantly, we thank you. Thank you for your blood. 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 They hung you high and stretched you out. Hallelujah. And you died for us, oh God. You paid a debt we could not pay. Hallelujah. And we say thank you. But you didn't just die. Hallelujah. But you went down into the pit of hell and you snatched the keys of authority from Satan. And then you didn't just stay there, but you got up on Sunday morning with all power in your hand. And we say thank you. Now you're seated at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. When we can't pray, you're still praying. Hallelujah. When we don't know what to do, hallelujah, you're moving on our behalf and we say thank you. But we're not through thanking you because we want to thank you for the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. 
thank you that you didn't leave us here by ourselves but you sent us a comforter you sent us a guide holy spirit we welcome you tonight we welcome you into this space we welcome you into this place we welcome you into every home we welcome you into every city we welcome you into every state wherever this broadcast is going forth we welcome you have your way ha ah, somebody in the house shout have your way have your way holy ghost move by your power touch heal and deliver I said, touch, heal, and deliver in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree that yokes will be destroyed. We declare and decree that strongholds are coming down. We declare and decree, oh God, hallelujah, that you're bringing about a change in the lives of your people. We've been through a hard time. We've been through a rough way, oh God. But right now, it's time for revival. And we call on you, spirit of the living God. God, to revive our spirits spirit of the living God cause us to be made new spirit of the living God stir up the gifts that are on the inside of your people we declare and decree that all is well I said all is well by the power of your spirit move across this nation break every yoke destroy every fetter we declare and decree strongholds are coming down in the name of Jesus I said in the name of Jesus strongholds are coming down in Jesus name we thank you already for marriages being put back together we thank you in advance for doors being open and ways being made and even with the virus trying to rear his head again we declare and decree that it shall not come nigh our dwelling in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus move by your power touch the man of God who will stand tonight to declare your word touch him oh God with Holy Ghost fire touch him oh God with a word that pierces to the dividing asunder of the joints and the marrow and the soul and the spirit we declare life and that more abundantly I speak to every man I speak to every woman I speak to every boy and girl live I said live I'm not just talking about breathing I want you to live live life have life and have it in abundance in Jesus name have it as a possession have it as your birthright have it till it overflow somebody shout overflow God we believe you for every blessing we believe you for every breakthrough and we give you praise in advance for what you're going to do I said we give you praise in advance for what you're going to do I said we're gonna give you a premature praise for a predetermined outcome because it's already done in Jesus name somebody shout glory I'm going to try and read this word. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our word tonight is coming from our, our scripture tonight. It's coming from the book of Joshua, the first chapter. Woo, our listen is fire up in here. There's fire up in here. Praise God. Don't you all go anywhere. You stay with us tonight. Hallelujah. You're going to be blessed. I, I promise you. Hallelujah. Those of you that have your Bibles, your tablets, your, your phones. Amen. Amen. God is talking to Joshua now. Amen. He's telling Joshua. Hallelujah. What's about to go down. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Verse number four. We're going to read from verse four. Thank you, Jesus. Till the Lord say stop. I think it's nine. From the wilderness. Hallelujah. And this Lebanon, even unto the great river of the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the, mm, the going down of the sun shall be your coast. Hallelujah. There shall not any man Listen to God now. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days. Have I say day of thy life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As I was with Moses, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee. Hallelujah. God says he will not fail you. Holly, oh, my God. Thank you. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Verse 6, be strong. What you got to do? Be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto thy fathers to give thee. It's time to get your land, children. It's time to get your inheritance now. Come on. Hallelujah. Be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. Verse 7, and again he says only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe and to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee turn not from it come on now turn not from it to the right nor to the left don't you go nowhere don't you let nobody take you no place but to the word of God amen hallelujah that thou mayest prosper that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest this book this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth y'all know this is the decade of the mouth amen i don't mean to get distracted but you got to speak and declare with the authority that god has given you you got to speak it and you got to declare it and stand on it this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. And then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. It's time, it's time. And then thou shalt have good success. It's time, it's time. Hallelujah. And lastly, have not I commanded thee once again, once again, what you got to do? Be strong and of good courage. Uh, don't you back up. Don't you back down. Don't get distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God. Is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. Whether you go. Whether you go. Whether you go. Wherever you go. You are not alone. You are never alone. Be strong, cheering, and of good courage. And let's get our inheritance in Jesus' name. Holy A Shaba. Glory, glory, glory. Don't nobody know like you know. Don't nobody know like I know. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. My, my, my. The Lord is with you. Ah, oh, my, my, my. Hallelujah. Just, just, you got a, you got a few seconds. You got a few seconds just to declare over yourself that the Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. Hallelujah. 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 Oh God, the Lord is with me. 
Hallelujah. My, my, my. My, my, my. Ever present. Hallelujah. The Lord is with us, y'all. The Lord is with us. The Lord is with us. <laughs> oh, my, 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 my. Wherever we are, the Lord is with us. My, my, my. I, I'm going to try to behave and do what I'm supposed to do. But, but you know, if I was in Baltimore, that's it, Bishop. That's what I would do. I would write the devil a letter with the soles of my feet. I said, that's what I would do. I would write the devil a letter. Y'all better behave. Y'all better. Ashanti Yapa. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Oh, my. You've got to bless him. You've got to bless him. You've got to bless him. My God, you've got to bless him. We bless him, into, we bless him tonight. Hallelujah. I told y'all, don't call glory if you don't want glory to show up. Hallelujah. And the glory of the Lord is in the house, Bishop. Apostle Moore, the glory of the Lord is in the house. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we bless him tonight. I'm going to try to get to our praise and worship. Oh, but what a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. We serve, we honor him tonight. There is nobody like our God. We certainly give deference to his grace, the most honorable Bishop Anthony C's all the way in uh, York, Pennsylvania. Uh, he is our friend and he is the presiding prelate of, of Pastor Daquan. And so we honor him tonight in his absence. Uh, he want to be here. We know he want to be here. And we know he already dancing right where he is. Uh, right where he's at. That, that, I'm sorry, I, I gave y'all some Baltimore colloquial. Right where he is. Uh, but if my South Carolinian roots would kick in, I would say the Lord is doing something right here. Right here. Right. Hashadabasia. Hallelujah. And when you invite a man, he'll do something. He'll do something. He'll do something. He'll, he'll, he'll embarrass the devil. Hallelujah. I'm going to get out your way. But how many of y'all know that every now and then again, you've got to give the devil a na 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 shout out? Oh, y'all not going to help me. I, I'll go there by myself. Every now and again, you've got to give him a na 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 shout out. Because what he tried to do, he could not accomplish it. Hallelujah. And we give God praise that God came through on our behalf. And there's nobody like Jesus. Just touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's nobody like Jesus. <laughs> there's nobody like him. At this time, we're going to have our praise and worship by Apostle uh, Kenya Party. He's going to come and he's going to take us further in our worship experience. And then after that, I'll come back one more time and then we will hear a word from the Lord. But won't you uh, share this service? Why don't you like this service? I'm asking that you would invite somebody into this most holy worship on tonight. And so at this time, Apostle Parte is going to come and give us praise and worship.
I've got the victory, hallelujah. I've got the victory, hallelujah. I've got the victory, hallelujah. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that he is Lord. Turn around. 
out for you. For everybody watching right now, the situation is not over. Hallelujah. The trial, hallelujah, won't last always. Hallelujah. Because weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. Your morning is coming. My sick of the noble course. Your morning is coming. Hallelujah. Feel the fresh wind of God coming into your life. Feel the fresh wind of God turning around your situations. See the fresh wind of God healing your heart, healing your body, healing your mind. It's right there. I don't care where you are. It's right there. Your miracle is standing right in front of you. It's standing right in front of you. I dare you to believe God. I dare you to believe God right now. I dare you to believe God for the best thing that's ever happened in your life. It might sound ridiculous to some people. It might seem like it cannot happen. But God wants your mama. Wants to bless you with the supernatural. God wants to bless you with what this defies science. Hallelujah! 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 God, I bless you. I bless you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the praise. Hallelujah, God. Do it for him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it for him, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just continue to bless the name of the Lord. Wherever you are, continue to bless him. God, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Ma, 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 ma. Hallelujah. 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 God. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. Shine on us, Lord. Shine on us. Shine on us. As only you can. There's times like this I wish I could sing. Because I would sing the song of the church or the, the stands of the church. Let the church say yes. Come on, Bishop, help me. Say yes. Say yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. Let the redeemed say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord. Somebody tell him yes. Yeah. Oh. So my soul, my soul, my soul, my soul says thank you, Lord. Yeah, God knows. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hey. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh thank you, Lord. Come on, put 
your hands together and give God praise. While you're praising him, you're telling God yes. You're telling God yes. You're telling him yes. You're telling him yes. <laughs> my, 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 my. Oh, yes. I, I, prophet, my mother was right. She told me to stick this preaching and leave singing alone. But, 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 you know, every now and again, I like to get out there and try something. But I honor God tonight in this holy place. Listen, what you all are experiencing tonight is, a, is an overflow of what we experienced on last night. Uh, somebody told us that he was only going to be here for about 35, 40 minutes and, and go home. But I want you all to know that it was about 12, 12.30, 1 o'clock. And I ain't going to call no names, but Pastor Simone was still on the floor, <laughs> prostrate before the Lord. I ain't going to call no names. I ain't going to call, I ain't going to tell nobody that she was stressed out on the floor. I was sitting in my chair over there where pa Apostle Moore is right now. I was sitting over there in the presence of the Lord. The children were downstairs playing children's church, dancing and shouting and praising God. I heard a sound from my granddaughter, Hunter. I heard her hollering and screaming and praising God. I said, this whole house is going to be filled before it's all over with. Just, just, ha shabash, just declare over yourselves that our whole house is going to be filled. My whole house. The promise is unto your, and to your children and to your children's children. And so we honor the Lord tonight. Listen, it's offering time. It's offering time. It's offering time. And so what we're going to do, we're going to ask those that are giving tonight, uh, those that want to give uh, um tangible gifts you can see elder ronnie he'll pass out envelopes for that but most of us are giving by cash app and by givelify if you go to our cash app our cash app for refreshing word ministries is the dollar sign refreshing word det the dollar sign refreshing word det if you're going to givelify you look for refreshing word ministries in detroit and you'll find my picture there on that. If you don't see my picture, it is not the right Refreshing Word Ministries. My picture will be on that app for Refreshing Word Ministries. And those that want to give intangible gifts, they're giving out envelopes for those that want to give by way of tangible gifts. Those of you that are out there with us on Facebook, we ask that you would share in giving. Uh, God loves a cheerful giver, and so I'm going to ask that you would cheerfully give uh, according to uh, as the Lord has blessed and prospered you. Those of you that want to give, we're only going to take up this one offering. So those that want to give to our preacher, Pastor Daquan Williams, I'm asking that you earmark your giving and cash app, and you earmark your giving on Givelify for the preacher's offering. I'm asking that you would earmark it, the preacher's offering. And so we're gonna do right by him, every penny that you give, every dime that you give, we're gonna make sure that he gets everything that you share and giving on tonight. Those that wanna to give to the church, Refreshing Word Ministries, give the dollar sign, Refreshing Word D-E-T, the dollar sign, Refreshing Word D-E-T. Hallelujah. 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 And Elder Ronnie, he will come by and he will collect your gifts. Those that are in the studio audience, come on studio audience, give God a praise so that people will know that you're out there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh God, we bless him tonight. Listen, I'm asking all of you that are with us uh, on Facebook and on uh, YouTube that you will join us tomorrow morning tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. we'll be right back here again and Pastor Daquan will, uh, Williams he will be bringing the word again for Refreshing Word Ministries this is our two-day revival new wine 
putting new wine into new wine skins. Thank you, Bishop. New wine into new wine skins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New wine into new wine skins. Somebody going to get drunk tonight. I prophesy that. Hallelujah. You're not going to leave the same way that you came in. And if you're drunk with your problems, with your burdens, I declare that you're going to leave sober tonight. Hallelujah. You're going to leave sober. And so we look forward to what God is doing in this hour. Come on, put your hands together for the offering. Hallelujah. Come on, we can do better than that. Put your hands together for the offering. Hallelujah. How many of you know that money has a spirit? And the spirit in which you give is the spirit in which you will receive. But if you give uh, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give back to you. Hallelujah. So put the right spirit on your money. We thank God for your seed. We thank God for your offering. We tell you, as always, make sure that your tithe and your offering go to your home church. Your tithe and your offering should go to your home church. Your tithe should go to your home church. Your first fruit should go to your priest, but your tithe should go to your home church. But your offering, you can share your offering. You can divvy up your offering and share it with others. Come on, let's give God praise for our offering on tonight. Hallelujah. 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 At this time, we're going to have one more selection, I believe. One more selection. And then after that, the very next voice you will hear will be that of our revivalist for tonight. And he is the senior pastor of Freedom City Connection Church. Uh, and so we're going to have him come and he's going to bring us the word on tonight. Is there a selection? No selection? It's just him? Okay. Y'all, excuse me. I'm, I'm learning this. This is new to me how we're doing this tonight. So after this, we're going to ask that everybody would rest to your feet. We're going to ask that you would rest to your feet. And we would ask that you would receive this man of God. He is the husband of his beloved wife. He is the father of his beloved children. He is the pastor of Freedom City Connection. And so at this time, I'm gonna ask that you would receive him by the clapping of your hands. Hallelujah. Bless you, Pastor. Come on, you better than that. Let's just begin to bless the name. Oh, I feel something. What you say, Bishop? Something good. It's going to happen today. And it's going to happen to me. Say that again. Something good. It's going to happen today. And it's going to happen to me. And I deserve it. Leave that. Give God a ridiculous praise. Come on, if you're watching this on our own Facebook audience, give God a praise. Come on, if you're on our online broadcast, a ridiculous praise. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Certainly we do. We do honor God uh, for none other than Bishop uh, James Dukes. Uh, he is a pioneer and he is um, definitely uh, a mentor and a father figure to me. Uh, so we honor God, hallelujah, for Bishop Dukes as well as his lovely wife, Lady Dukes. Can we just honor God for them? Oh, y'all going to have me preaching a mic tonight. <laughs> hallelujah. We also honor God for this, for his grace, none other than, I didn't get your name. Bishop, oh, I, I, I got to remember that. Bishop Williams, we honor God for you, sir. Uh, hallelujah. And we certainly honor God for Apostle here. Let's give it up for Apostle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to Refreshing Word Ministries, thank you so much for hosting us today. Hallelujah. So I honor God to all of you and your respective places. And you know I cannot and I will not forget 
I'm going to say the greatest church, hallelujah, that I know. None other than Freedom City Connection. Come on, if you're on Freedom City, come on, make some noise. Let me see the hearts in the comments. Come on, let somebody know. Let somebody know. If you have not, I want you to share. I want you to like. I want you to invite. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Honor God for my wife and her absence. That's my boo, my baby. Uh, she, she, she sent me with my, my, my oldest son, uh, Quadir. So I had some help this week. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, didn't feel alone, if you will. Uh, so I had some company. Uh, so we, we went, we went to the mall today and, uh, my God, I'm just going to say, leave sacks alone, leave sacks alone, leave sacks alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. Amen. Amen. All right. There is a word, there is a word, there is a word from the Lord. Um, it is our custom. Um, before I like to get into the word, um, I like to set an atmosphere. Um, I want us just to begin to just release a worship and release a sound. If we could, uh, let's just go into a moment of worship. Come on, just begin to open your mouth and give God glory. Shabbat. Come on, begin to give him worship. Yeah. Come on, begin to give him glory in this place. Hallelujah, hallelujah. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is kind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's great and he's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Just begin to love on him. Hallelujah. Speak one of the Lord. It is in him that we live. It is in him that we move. Hey, hey. It is in him that we have our very being. Father, we're nothing without you. We're hopeless without you. We're a ship without a sail without you. We need you to survive. We need you to make it. We need you today, oh God. With every fiber of our being. Hey, I feel glory. With every fiber of our being, oh God. Uh, hallelujah with everything that we have come on give him glory shake even dead give him glory messiah give him honor come on come on i see you online uh, give him honor give him glory uh, oh my uh, now lift your voice and open your mouth hey, shake yeah yeah come on i will bless the lord hey, uh, at all times his praises, his praises. Hey, Amanta, I said his praises. Come on, where does your praise live? Come on, where does your praise live? Come on, where does your praise live? It shall forever be in my mouth. I give him glory. I give him honor. I give him praise. I will bless him. He's worthy. He's great and greatly. Kataya. Oh man, I say, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, put pressure right there. Put some pressure right there. Put some pressure right there. Come on, push this atmosphere. Put some pressure right there. Put some pressure. Put some pressure. Put some pressure. Hey, hallelujah. I love you, Lord. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you. With every fiber of our being, oh God, from the depths of our soul, as the deer pants for the water brook, so my soul long for thee, oh God. Hallelujah. My Shekaya. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, yes, Lord. We give you glory, my shape. We give you honor. Oh, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Put those hands together and love on them. 
Ah. There is a word. There is a word. There is a word. Yes. Hallelujah. Bishop, you, you were already all up in my message. Uh, you were all up in my message. Uh, so I don't appreciate that. Bitch. <laughs> amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on. If you're ready for the word, just say, I'm ready for the word. 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 I want you to turn your Bibles to a very familiar passage. Um, if you're on Facebook and you're watching, and I, 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 I have no shame in saying this, I preached this before. I was always taught you don't go out of town preaching nothing new. You preach something that you know. <laughs> don't go try to be fancy. I, I preach something that you know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make sure you do it well. But I, 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 I'm telling you, there was something that was released last night, Bishop. And by the moment I got back, God dropped the word in my spirit. I want you to turn your Bibles to Joel, the second chapter. And go ahead and just go to that 25th verse. Hallelujah. And the Bible reads as such. And I will restore to you the years. Everybody say years. Come on, if you're watching us via Facebook, say years. Say years. I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm. Watch this. My great army in which I sent among you. Father God, I thank you right now. I pray right now that you would stir our spirit, oh God, and ready us, Father. Hallelujah. Completely open the hearts of your people, O oh God, and allow this word, O oh God, to pierce through tonight. I pray, God, that you would give me clarity of speech, O oh God, and precision of thought. I pray right now that the word would be articulated, O oh God, such, O oh God, would it would be understandable, O oh God, but yet, O oh God, that it might liberate your people. Now, Father, hide me behind the cross, Father. You get all of the glory. You get all of the honor. Don't let them see me, O oh God, but let them see a revealed you in the name of Jesus we give your name glory honor and praise for this house for this leader oh God and for these your people oh God hallelujah prepare the hearts on those that are watching via online allow this glory and this anointing to be tangible let it go through the very screen and we give your name all glory all honor and all praise in Jesus name we pray amen 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 I want to preach for the, from the subject matter tonight, God will restore. God will restore. Come on, somebody just decree that thing up out of your mouth. God will restore. Come on, the apostle was talking about this is the decade of pay. Come on, use your mouth. God will restore. God will. Come on, come on. Don't say it as I'm not sure, but say it as a fact. Hallelujah. God will restore. God will. God will. God will. God will. Hallelujah. You better say that thing on Facebook. God will. You better say that thing on YouTube. God will. You better say that thing. Hallelujah. On the online platform. God will restore. Oftentimes, life oftentimes in life we find that decisions we make can cause us to suffer and to lose out on many blessings that God has set aside for us some of us has found that disobedience comes with a price that many of us don't really want to pay some of us have lost out on jobs and finances, scholarships, friends, relationships, time, ministry, anointing, and more. And after we find ourselves missing out on all of these things and all of these bountiful blessings, we begin to struggle in different areas of our life. Because to be honest, we realize that we had it better before we disobeyed. Come on, let, 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 let's just be real. Now, ah, but I've learned that every now and again, it takes 
mandates one to disobey the voice of God to realize that obedience really is better than sacrifice uh, come on am I talking to anybody in here when you recognize that the presence of God costs more than what your wallet can buy when you when you come to terms with the fact that the spirit of God is greater than any energy that we can exhaust that's when we'll stop trying to impress God sacrifices we will stop trying to impress God with our clothes we'll stop trying to impress God with our money we'll stop trying to impress God with all of this stuff and we will apply Romans 12 and 1 and we will represent our bodies a living sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God which is our reasonable service I understand that the road for some of us have not been easy by far but I've come to this house I've come all the way from Pennsylvania to let somebody know that God will restore I, I don't know what you lost I don't know how you lost it I don't know how long it's been that you lost it I don't know hallelujah how bad you have it because you lost it but what I do know is that God is getting ready to show you hallelujah that everything that you lost I just wish I had some help in here everything that you lost everything that you missed out on every every year everything every person every job opportunity every ministry assignment that you thought passed you by Hold up, we ain't ready yet. It's Shataya. Show my God say. Hallelujah. I come to tell you, God will restore. God will restore. God will restore. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. Um. I can already feel right now. Just go ahead and shift me to church flow. Because I can already feel uh the type, the type of glory that needs to exude in this house. Ah, uh, we find in this text, Bishop that the prophet Joel is prophesying to the people of Judah. Ah, he's talking to southern Judah. Somebody say, he's talking to praises. He's talking to praises. Oh, come on. Can I talk to a praiser tonight real quick? Can I talk to a breed of praises tonight? Ah, oh, my God. He's talking to southern Judah. And there's not much information in the Bible recorded about the prophet Joel we know that he is the second out of the 12 minor prophets uh, hallelujah I don't want anybody to get confused about a minor and a major uh, because the reality of the matter is the anointing is still the same uh, the only thing that makes a minor prophet different from a major prophet is the fact of the matter that a major prophet's body of work is just oh my god but a minor prophet just did not have as long of a resume but yet the anointing and the effectiveness of the word is still the same I come to tell you I don't care if you call me a major prophet a minor prophet if you just say that you're a prophesier it don't matter I come to tell you any word that come out of the mouth of God that is caught by the vessels of God I come to tell you it still carry the same amount of authority and wait ah so we also know that he's the son of Pethiel and we understand that he is ministering Judah's punishment because they are going through a series hear me Facebook hear me YouTube he's going through a series watch me a bad leadership I need you to understand that he is prophesying during the time of King Joash you remember King Joash Elisha, Elisha said strike the ground he said if you keep on striking hallelujah you could have utterly destroyed your adversaries but yet you stopped early oh my god I ain't preaching this but I come to tell you whatever it is that got you to where you got to you gotta learn how to keep doing it oh my god hallelujah cause you and the prophet can secure a victory hallelujah but how long you gonna stay delivered oh my god it's gonna rest on your shot 
Somebody say, don't miss your shot. Don't miss your shot. Don't miss your shot. Don't miss your shot. I promise you, you're going to get a shot tonight. You're going to get a shot tonight. And I'm trying to tell you on Facebook. I'm trying to tell you if you're watching me via your car. I'm trying to tell you if you're watching me in your living room. I'm trying to tell you in the online studio. Hallelujah. Don't miss your shot. He, he, he says... He says, people of God, uh, he, 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 we're dealing with bad leadership. If you understand anything about King Joash, and you must understand his father. Uh, but, but not just his father. Uh, I really want to deal with his grandfather. Uh, King Jeroboam, son of Nebat. Ah, uh, uh, my God. Uh, wicked king. Uh, a king that, that brought idolatry to the people. Uh, a king uh, that started to change the order of the priesthood I'm telling you about uh, the grandfather and we see that his son followed in his footsteps and we see that his grandson hallelujah followed in his footsteps as well tried to come out but because the that was put in his spirit he didn't even know how to shoot he didn't even know how to operate spiritually oh my god so what we now find is that now there has to be punishment oh, and can I tell you that every now and again when God has to deliver punishment hallelujah he don't just bring that thing up on you oh no 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 he gave us some time come on this was something your mama had had a chance to get rid of this was something your daddy had a chance to get rid of this was something that somebody else had a chance to get rid of but when God ended up realizing that did nobody in the bloodline want to be a cycle breaker he decided I'm gonna have to send something hallelujah that eyes have not seen that the earth have not even experienced yet just to get you in order what he does and decides is I am sending my great army hear me y'all he says I'm sending my great army now what I like about the text and what we must establish from the beginning of a thing is the fact of the matter that guess what God says I sent this I, I, I need us I need you to get that hallelujah the devil didn't send it come on a demon didn't send it your your haters didn't send it God said I sent this thing oh my God and can I minister to a few of us that spending all this time and all this energy binding up the devil and binding up the enemy because of your disobedience oh my God but can I I tell you that every now and again God got to send something in order to shake your life back into obedience. Shake you back into submission. Shake you back into surrender. Yes. Huh? Somebody say the devil didn't send this. Oh my God. We get the devil too much credit. Can I tell you the devil ain't even smart enough to do half this stuff. Hallelujah. That God end up using in our life. The devil don't even got enough pull to do some of the stuff that God ends up doing in our life. And we sitting here giving the devil all this credit. The devil is a liar. So uh, God said I sent this one. Uh, he said I sent this one. He said I'm sending my great army unto you. Uh, of insects. I need y'all to get this. He, 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 he didn't send angels. He didn't send seraphim and cherubim. He, 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 did, he didn't even send demonic forces, y'all. He, he didn't send that. He said, I'm sending my army of insects. I need y'all to catch this. Oh, my God. Have God ever, have, have it ever gotten so bad in your life that God had to send something that creep? Mm. y'all not saying nothing to me in here huh? glory to God just to get you in order huh? has, has it ever got so bad huh? that God had to send stuff that's really beneath you huh? just to show you that God can use the low things huh? y'all not saying nothing to me in here huh? to cause humility to fall back on your life huh? has God ever had to use somebody huh? that you know ain't qualified don't got the degree huh? don't got the words don't got the wisdoms 
but he'll sit there and allow them to put you in check I'm trying to tell you y'all he said I'm going to send something I'm going to send a creeping thing oh my god I'm going to send something that's about to creep up on you you ain't going to see it coming it's just like when you leave your house and you come back and you left juice on the floor you didn't see them ants there but yet they all up in the house oh my god because a creeping thing will sneak up on you oh, when you find yourself in a series of disobedience mm. So the reality of the matter is if we're preaching that God is getting ready to restore, I find that oftentimes we don't know how he's going to restore. We don't know the way he's going to restore because we don't know where to look for the restoration. So the only way we can really find out Facebook and YouTube, the only way we can really find out how God is about to restore is we now have to dissect the assignment of the source that he sent. Y'all not saying nothing to me in here. You got to dissect the assignment of the insects that he sent. Oh my God. So this caused me y'all to have to go through some, some history and some learning. I had to start looking at how insects work. I had to start looking like looking at how the local and the caterpillar and the canker worm work because God says if you can ever identify hallelujah what I had to take from you you can identify where I'm going to pay you back y'all not saying nothing to me in here I feel it in the atmosphere oh can I tell you Facebook hallelujah if you can ever identify where the Lord had to cut you off you can then identify where the Lord's going to give it back what I like about this is the fact that because it wasn't a demon, that because it wasn't another source, because it was God, that's really the first place we ought to get happy. And the reason we ought to get happy right there is because that if God took it, oh my God, then God will get that thing back. I come to tell you if God took it, I don't got to wrestle with a demon. I don't got to talk to a witch. All I got to do is repent, humble myself, and cry in the name of the Lord. Mm. Right? So first thing, Bishop, we find out he sends the locusts. Mm -hmm. He sent the locusts, y'all. Facebook, he sent the locusts. Just go ahead and put in the comments. Uh, YouTube put in the comments uh, locusts hmm. he sends the locusts what I found out about locusts it, it is the locust job to attack the crops hmm. the locusts come and they attack the crop now if you understand what crop meant back then that was a source of income that was a source of wealth so the locusts came and the locusts attacked the crops. Uh, in other words, the locusts came to literally destroy uh, your ability to be able to produce and gain wealth. Now, I looked at that thing. And Bishop, let me just give you some facts. I found out you got two types of locusts. You have solitude locusts. That's something that we might see around here. You might see one or two locusts around here. Oh, but then you have gregarious locusts. These are locusts that travel in packs. These are locusts that travel by the thousands. Oh my God. And I found out that when a gregarious locust flock would attack an area or a region, it literally had the ability to eat $2.4 billion worth of crop. I asked the Lord, I said, God, what in the world are you trying to say? God said, my people don't even realize. Ah, uh, that the body 
body of Christ have literally lost out on billions of dollars. You're not saying nothing to me in here. We've lost out on billions of dollars because we disobeyed. Come on. Come on. I ain't going to blame this on your enemy. I ain't going to blame this on your hater. I ain't going to blame this on your agitator. I'm going to blame this on you. I'm going to blame this on me. I'm going to blame this on us and our mess. Said, said, what I'm going to do, I got to send the locust, y'all. Oh, my God. Because we don't even understand the locust done came and ate the tithes and the offering. The locust done came, hallelujah, and caused folk to get cut off on your job. The locust done came and caused holes to be in your pocket. The locust done came and caused things not to work out in your business. The locusts have come. Ate up the wealth. Oh my God. So 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 I need y'all to help me out because the first place we gotta give God praise. Uh, and the first place you need to start looking for repayment. Ah, uh, some texts say restore, but other texts say repay. Ah, uh, the first place you need to start looking for repayment is you need to start looking for repayment in the area of your wealth, in the area of your income. Can you praise God real quick? Because God's getting ready to drop money. Can you praise God real quick? Because God's getting ready to do something. Can you give God glory real quick? I'm telling you, God is getting ready to drop something that's about to fill your purse. Something that's about to fill your pocketbook. Something that's about to fill your income. Somebody going to a new tax bracket. Somebody going to a new place of financial income. This is the last season you're going to struggle. This is the last year. Come on, open up your mouth and give them glory. Come on, if I'm down your street, open your mouth. You went through a shortage. You went through a money famine. But God is getting ready. All, all, all right. Hey, oh Shamandasa. Let's stay right here with the locusts. Oh, oh God. Let's stay right here with the locusts. Let's stay right here with the locusts for a moment. Somebody said, don't move from the locusts. Stay right there. Oh my God. I need to stay right here with the locusts for a moment, Facebook. I need to stay right here. Ah, uh, for the locust with the locust, because if indeed the locust ate the crop, if indeed the locust tore up the crop, then not only did we not have, watch this, uh, 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 finances or wealth to be able to trade or exchange for goods, ah, uh, but we ran into another issue. This issue was more of a spiritual issue. Ah, uh, we ran into another issue because of the locust is eating the crops. And now the locust is literally eating the food supply for the cattle. The locust is eating the food supply. Hallelujah. Oh my God. For those things that we need to sacrifice. So now the cows, now the, the arts, now the cattle is dying off. Oh, so therefore, when you go to the priest, in order for the priest to be able to offer you a, a, sin, a, a sacrifice, the priest does not now have the proper materials in order to be able to sacrifice unto God so if the priest don't have the right materials now we find ourselves with no presence you're not saying nothing to me anymore. now we find ourselves with no glory now we find ourselves in a place where we'll praise but we won't fill the kabod we'll worship but we'll still be stuck we'll have faith but it still won't move mm. oh my god we'll find ourselves in the place where we're trying to give god worship what the preacher says if you praise god he'll send a blessing and you'll find that years that decades have gone by and that praise still ain't produced nothing in the atmosphere 
And you sitting here wondering if that preacher was a liar. You sitting here wondering if that prophet was a liar. Not even realizing, baby, you just in a famine. Not even realizing that God can't accept that. Because you ain't got no tangible sacrifice. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible declares bring unto him the sacrifice of praise ah mm -hmm. oh, my God and what we're finding is that the church have lost her sacrifice oh my God we'll lift our hands we'll open our mouth but don't ask for a seed to be attached we'll lift our hands we'll open our mouth but don't ask for me to give nothing of myself we'll lift our hands we'll open our mouth but don't ask for me to put nothing on the table we find ourselves going through a famine. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I know y'all don't deal with this in, in, in Michigan. So let, let, let me just talk. Let me just talk to them. I know y'all don't deal with this. Y'all don't deal with this. But, 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 but is there anybody on Facebook that can just honor God with me real quick? Because the next thing he's going to restore in the midst of him sending the locusts is he's sending power back to your worship. He's sending glory back to your praise. He's sending presence back. He getting ready to inhabit the praises of his people yet again. He's about to show you. I didn't show up those times when you were praising. But that's because you were going through a season called drought. But God's getting ready to open up the heavens and show you that there's backed up glory. Oh God. There's backed up presence. There's backed up worship. I wish somebody Come on Facebook I wish somebody would worship right there I wish somebody would give him glory Right about there I wish somebody would open your mouth right Oh God There's some back there's something backed up and it's in your sound it's in your sound it's in your worship it's in your praise hey hey Sha, it's in your surrender oh Sha. ah uh, whatever thank you Bishop. whatever the locust doesn't eat. Yes. You got to go back to chapter one to hear this. Whatever the locust doesn't eat, the caterpillar comes. Y'all yes. missed this thing. <laughs> ah, so just if you thought you were going to get to survive over leftovers. I'm, 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help somebody that say you don't even understand how low it's been. You don't. You don't even understand how rough it's been. You uh, come, come on, come on, come on. If I'm talking to you on Facebook, you don't even understand how hard it's been. I know you're telling me to press on, but you don't know. I don't got two pennies to rub together. You don't know. I don't got the time, the energy, the patience. You just don't understand. I've been ready to throw in the towel. I've been ready to give up i've been ready to commit suicide that's how hard it's been just when i think i found a break something come and eat that up too just just, 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 just just when i think i got it all down pat something come and eat that thing right up too Huh. That's the caterpillar's job. Huh. This caterpillar is it's 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 different, Bishop. This is a yes. different. It's a small beast. I'm, oh yeah 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 yeah. It's a small beast. It's, this caterpillar is different, y'all. Ah, the caterpillar has a very intricate job. It is the caterpillar's job huh, to come and literally suck the nutrients and the pollen out of a plant. Mm -hmm. It drains the plant of all of its necessity. It drains the plant of its life source. It drains the
the plant of his sustenance. Ah, uh, and watch what the caterpillar got the nerve to do, Bishop. This, this is the part that got me, Bishop Williams. Uh, it blew my mind, Bishop. Ah, uh, the caterpillar will now use what it has drained as a defense mechanism. You're not saying nothing to me in here. As a defense mechanism against predators. So, in other words, a caterpillar ain't no different from somebody that will suck you of your time, your dog, your energy, your patience, your money, your resources, and then got the nerve to use what it took from you. Like you are the issue. Like you are the problem. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me in here. So the caterpillar. I'm sorry. I'm trying to tell you uh, this is the season uh, you got to get rid of caterpillars uh, you got to get rid of suckers uh, you got to get rid of folk in your life uh, that all they want to do is drain uh, all they want to do is take uh, all they want to do is your time uh, your effort uh, your energy uh, come on if every conversation we have uh, is about your dreams uh, is about what, what, what you was going on in your life uh, what God how God blessing you uh, the revelation I can't stand talking to preachers sometime uh, how come we just can't dialogue the scripture uh, why you gotta tell me your whole sermon uh, and then you don't want to listen to mine uh, why you gotta tell me your whole revelation uh, and don't want to hear mine uh, you're a caterpillar uh, all you want to do is suck from me uh, you want to take from me uh, cuz ain't nobody in your life wants you uh, don't nobody in your life want to receive it uh, but this is the season Oh, Shataya. It's the season. Get rid of the caterpillars. You got to do a check in your phone. You got to do a check in your roller desk and figure out are you a caterpillar or are you a real friend? Are you a caterpillar or are you a supporter? Are you a caterpillar or are you a confidant? Are you a caterpillar or are you a helpmate? I don't need no more caterpillars in my life. Somebody just pat your feet real quick and get rid of the caterpillar. Come on, there's something in your feet. What you say, bitch? There's a nana in your feet. There's a nana in your feet. Pat your feet and step on the head. You're worried about snakes. I just need to get rid of the caterpillars. You're worried about the big stuff. I just need to get rid of the small foxes that's literally trying to destroy my life. Say yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, Shaka. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ah. They drain you. They drain you. They drain you. Okosha mamandi asa. Okosha mamandi asa. Oko na 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 nanzi ashaya. Oko na nanzi eshe. Oh, every draining spirit, oh God. Every taking spirit, oh God. Oh, every voucher spirit, oh voucher spirit, oh God. Destroy it in its tracks in the name of Jesus. The season we're going into, Bishop. When God give you the joy back. Oh, Kosha. When God give you the peace back, I'm, 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 I'm trying to tell you. When God give you the money and the patience back. When God give you the opportunity back. When God give you the platform back. When God give you the career back. When God give you the scholarship back. I don't know what you're believing God for. But when he gives it back to your Facebook. When he gives it back. You the residue of caterpillars are out of your life or they'll drain it they'll drain you of it just as quick as he gave it back to you 
What's the point for him to restore it? Y'all not saying nothing to me in here. <laughs> See, y'all don't realize when the Bible declares that weeping may endure for a night. What I like about it is weeping is optional. <laughs> Didn't nobody say you had to cry for the last 15 years? <laughs> Didn't nobody say that you had to stay stuck for the last 30 years? <laughs> that was a personal decision. <laughs> weeping got an expiration date. <laughs> and that is 11.59 on the dot every night. <laughs> weeping got an expiration date. <laughs> and until you learn how to tell weeping you gotta stay in my yesterday you gotta stay in my yesterday you do not have right to my tomorrow you do not have space you have no space oh shut up i thought somebody would have caught that right there tell weeping that by 11.59 tonight, you must stay in today. Because tomorrow, my joy is released. Oh, I wish somebody would have caught that thing. 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 Put in the comments 1159. Put in the comments 1159. Something got to break before my dawn. Hallelujah. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I bless you. 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 I thought it went right there. I'm 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 tell you Oh God, I bless you. Oh God. Oh God. Shataya la bonanzi. Oh God. Say it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary Wright, take a shataya. Weeping may endure for a night. But joy. Somebody say joy. Somebody say joy. Somebody say joy. Okosanaya. Okosabahasiata. Give me so sharp that I am a hope. And take me to the drive. My sire. Turn it up, my I need you to give your 1159 a preview. The entire Shatabaha. I receive my joy now. I receive my peace now. I receive my help now. Right now. That's all it is. Shut up, my coach. Oh, 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 God. One more drive. Take your way out. Praise your way out. Glory your way out. I feel a shift. I feel a turn. Some just shifted. Some just turned. Some just shifted. Understand somebody 
Break it down real quick. Can I tell you? You, you, you in the blue, right behind you. No, you, you, ma'am. Yes. Can I tell you that the the distortion of peace that the enemy have tried to bring to your life? By 11.59, when I lay hands on you, it's going to break. Kashata mama mandasa. No, let us right there. Kashata mama mandasa. Y'all don't understand. No longer will your spirit be trapped. No longer will your mind be trapped. No longer will your worship be trapped. No longer will your heart be trapped. I come to tell you that every betrayal that ever hit your life, God's getting ready to restore. Say yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. Something broke out, not safe. Nobody mad but the devil. Uh, ain't nobody mad but the devil. Uh, that demon uh, of defeat, uh, of restlessness, uh, it's coming out uh, by the authority uh, of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout Jesus. <laughs> Can I tell you holding the baby? You can I tell you that there's greater for you. I need you to understand that where you are right now is not forever. But there are doors that you've been asking God for to open. And you've been wondering why do the I just can't I can't get through I can't get through there's even relationships that I see that just keep breaking 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 there's not a consistency there and it's like you're just waiting for something to literally just I want to say like this come and just knock you off your feet or sweep you off your feet and I come to tell you that God says it's time for you to believe and understand that there's greater for you there's greater for you there's greater for you there's greater for you there's greater the next time it don't work understand there's greater come to tell you that every time it don't work it's only because you were getting ready to settle again but God won't allow you to settle because God said there's greater I need
need somebody to magnify God if you realize there's greater in the atmosphere. Can I tell you, Facebook, that greatest in the atmosphere? <laughs> Can I tell you, don't settle? Oh my God. <laughs> Somebody say, I'm not settling for less. I want all God has. I want it all. Some of y'all going to catch this tomorrow. Oh, Could you, lady dudes, I want you to touch her heart. No, no, no. Let's go back to her. I need you to touch her heart. I guess there's some stuff that's trying to hold on in there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, my shit. What? the anointing of God. Location. Well, gathering well, right? Can I tell gathering well? Get ready to experience the overflow. Cause what's about to hit refreshing? Say enough. It's about to transfer down to Baltimore. Y'all not saying. <laughs> I want you to receive the strength of the Lord Masataba. in every weak area, Masataba. in every feeble area, because God's getting ready to equip you for a new season. Hallelujah. God is already done. Oh, Masataba. We done trying to make stuff happen. I'm telling you, it's done. Oh, oh shot. All right, cool. We, 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 we shot. Oh, Shananda, tell ya. Let me. Just, just take me right out. Oh, Koshaba. Koshama. Koshama Andasa. Come on, lift those hands. Come on, lift those hands.
Depression is not allowed in this room. Depression is not allowed in this room. Depression is not allowed. Begin to breathe. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Koshamanda Sataba. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sir, I see so much weight on you. So much on your shoulders. So much that you're carrying. God said, go ahead and give it to me. Lift your hands. It comes off today. It comes off. It comes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Catch your fears. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We anoint you afresh. Oh kasha taba. I feel this. You need an anointing for a new day. There's an anointing for a new day. Pop. I come against psychological warfare yes. now in the name of Jesus. Loose his mind. Mind. You can handle this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can handle this. You can handle this. That break Come on, give him glory. Oh, come on, open your mouth and magnify the Lord. Oh, come on, come on, magnify the Lord. Come on, stretch those hands unto God. Stretch those hands unto the Lord. Worship in this building. Worship in this place. Oh, Shemataya. Oh. Come on, there's a worship. There's a worship, Mashiach. There's a worship. Can I pray with you? Father, I'm praying that 
don't you come out of those dark places. I see it, I see it. of your life today. Go shut up. your sins if you're on Facebook lift your hands if you're in this room and you're a backslider you need to rededicate or maybe you're just not saved at all lift your hands That one might be even watching. What might be watching on the replay? One might be watching even now. And Father, we're asking God that you would touch, that you would touch that heart, touch that mind, touch that spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If that's you, I want you to repeat after me. Lord, I'm a sinner. I've messed up. I haven't dotted every I. 
I haven't crossed every T. But Lord, I love you. And I want you in my heart. I welcome you into my spirit. And I want to be yours. Now, Father, have me take over my life. You're in control. And I surrender to you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, or that was the sentiments of your heart, you've either rededicated or you're saved today. I come to tell you, I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow, so y'all want to be with me tomorrow morning. God will restore. <laughs> God will restore. God. God will restore. God's restoring this house, Bishop. He's restoring something to refreshing word that was taken and that was lost. Oh, but God's getting ready to give it back. I said, God's getting ready to give it back. God's getting ready to give it back. Every help challenge. Do it only you can do God. Do it only you can do God. I need worship, my son. Worship in this room. Worship. Restore our health. Restore our hearts. Touch lungs in this place. Touch kidneys in this place. Touch liver in this place. Touch diabetes in this place. Touch, 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 touch. Do it on life. Touch. If you're on Facebook, put life. We speak life. We speak life. We speak life. Somebody say live. Somebody say live. Somebody say live. Live. strong woman but yet when 
I catch your spirit, I see one that shrinks back. word that's ever been rooted in your spirit. I break that curse today. That was an edict from the enemy. And we up in the name of Jesus. give you a fresh passion. That mm. God give you a fresh passion and a fire within that passion. Something that you want to be bold in all that. Because there are going to be some things that God puts in your spirit that it's on, you're only going to do it unless you have confidence. And the enemy will try to keep you in this place. But I'm telling you, time is up. <laughs> oh, my shot. Time is up. 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 And behold, the Lord will restore unto you the years. The years, the years, the years, the years, the years, the years. I come to prophesy, somebody's getting years back. I come to prophesy, somebody's getting time back. I come to tell you, God has given you time back. You thought that time was lost, but God's giving it back. put in the comments uh, give me time God uh, give me time oh some of you just need time 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 oh all right father we thank you for this night this start of revival I pray that there's a stirring in this atmosphere I pray that every word that was spoken just like with prophet Samuel let no word fall to the ground but God we believe on you to fulfill the word we pray for prophetic demonstration operation and manifestation in the name of Jesus I thank you oh God that nothing foul leaves this place you know what let me reword that that nothing foul stays with the people in this place but it must get up out of here thank you oh God that your people are blessed I thank you right now oh God that this word has been sealed and that someone is leaving this place knowing that you're going to restore it all you're going to restore it all somebody on Facebook knows you're going to restore it all so God we give you one last praise in this place and this praise is because uh, there is correction say it kashanamo o kataba sia o kaya na baha
wake up. There's restoration. There is restoration. And now, even now, God, touch the vocal cords, touch the voice of our preacher. Heal him from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Give back to him what he's poured out to us. God, restore. Even in this hour, restore. And we bless you and we honor you and we glorify you. In Jesus' name. Somebody just give God praise. Give him thanks. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To our Facebook family, to our YouTube family. We certainly invite you to be with us on tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We'll be right back here again to go further in the things of God. And certainly to those that are with us in this August body of believers, we invite you also to come tomorrow if your schedule allows to be in this place. I believe that God has yet another word to add to this word. And if I were you, I wouldn't miss it. And so I'm inviting you to be with us here in this uh, place of worship for these next two days. We're going to have what I'm going to consider an overflow. I'm going to release our, our audience uh, that's coming by virtual means. And I'm going to give you uh, your benediction. But... Uh, for those of us that are still together in worship, I believe that there's something else that the Lord wants to do. And so let us look to the Lord. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, who's able to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be majesty, dominion, and power and the people of God said, Amen. And thank God. We'll see you on tomorrow. For those of us that are here, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you for coming to this worship experience. I, I, bef I would be remiss if I didn't hear from two people before we left. And then I'll come back. But I wanted to share some things. Uh, first, I want to hear from Pastor